My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. So please uh, smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below, and I'll leave your Ethereum or Bitcoin address below. It, it doesn't have any value to you guys, but it has great value to me as I'm still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway, cold storage coin, and $20 in either Bitcoin or Ethereum. So that's why I need the address below. Uh, in the comments. So if you are a subscriber or you want to become a subscriber, uh, please just add, add your address below so I can uh, send the random sub, uh, winner at 100 and another one at 150 a cold storage coin and a, uh, a $20 um, either in Bitcoin or Ethereum. So I uh, just wanted to get into um, today with uh, six ways of how we can earn cryptocurrency um, without mining, without investing in cryptocurrency, okay? So that's really uh, the whole thing of decentralization and the internet of things is to, uh, to get rid of all the centralized things where people take our information and then they leverage it against us. Why can't we use our information, sell it to you guys, you guys take the information and leverage it somewhere else. So that's not what obviously what's been happening since the, uh, the age of the internet. So that's things that I wanna go over that we all know of in the cryptocurrency world that we can make extra passive income with crypto. But there's a couple other ones that I don't think everybody knows about. So, um, you know, I wanted to show you the uh, Northern Lights here, this view here. I'm headed up to Alaska next week for a fishing trip and to see some family. And uh, this is going to be what I'm uh, hoping to look at is some Northern Lights. You know, I haven't been up there for a long time. I was born and raised up there, so I'm kind of excited to go back and check this out. So with that being said, you know, I'm always looking about, OK, well, if I leave, you know, I'm not making any money, you know, besides the mining and my bot trading. But of course, I can't uh, manage my bot when I'm gone and I can't manage my mining. So I just have to let it run and then hope for the best, you know, so anything changes in the market uh, dramatically. You know, I can't change with it until I get back. For the most part, I can monitor a lot of the things. Um, but I really can't change a lot of it, um, you know, just based that I'm not on my home base. My bot trailer is on a stationary um, uh, computer, you know, so on and so forth. So um, and uh, again, so with these six ways that I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over some news as well, you know, an overview. But these six ways they are basically things we can all do. So you're still making income passively as you're traveling and doing things that we always do, which is like posting our, our Facebook photos, Instagramming everything, you know, on everything's on, you know, if you have a blog, you want to throw it on Reddit, Reddit or Steam it or something of the sort, um, you know, all this can be done on, on the travel, on the go, you know, as, as we all know. Um, but there are things that we can now do. I think that a lot of people haven't seen that um, uh, we can now make passive income with cryptocurrency, just doing the daily things we do and getting paid for our information that we have online. So that's really the, you know, the, the, what I'm going to be uh, touching on um, more than anything. So again, you know, please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you guys, but it has great value to me and the dogs that I'll be rescuing in the future. So, uh, you know, it's moving right into it here uh, in the coin market cap. 256 billion right now. You know, Bitcoin's sitting around that 7,000 line, so that's... That's good. It's 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 went sideways, but I hope it doesn't stair step down. That's kind of what everybody's wondering. Is it going to stair step down right now? Uh, all coins, a lot of all coins are at uh, all time lows. Um, so we we shall see. You know, Litecoin and Cardano, I think, are very undervalued right now. Thirteen cents. You know, Cardano went down to twelve cents, and Litecoin went down you know farther than that. But then it's now going sideways. So they're very undervalued. You know, again, I'm a YouTuber. Don't. Uh, buy anything just because a YouTuber says it, um, you know, do your own research, uh, do your own uh, critical thinking, you know, make your own assessments, you use risk and uh, probability assessments uh, works for me greatly. You know, again, I'm still I'm like 60, 40, 70, 30 on my, uh, you know, win loss uh, scale. So works for me, you know, I'm starting to offset a lot of things. The bot trading is doing really well for me and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, changers today. So this empower coin. Okay, I, I really am going to touch on this, and I'm going to go over this as well in this video. But Empower Coin's been on, you know, the 24-hour game changer here for the past like two weeks, and I'm like, where the hell is this? What is this coin, and what the hell is it all about? And I, I looked into this coin, and man, it is, it, it's, it's, it's looking good. Um, I went two hours today. I, I took out of my life to to find out about this coin, 
and uh, you know it's looking pretty pretty damn good. So um, you know we're gonna go from there as as far as uh, uh, the market cap goes. But you know the Empower Coin I think is going to be a way that we can all use uh, for passive income. So in a second. Um, but I wanted to go over just a real overview of some ways people can earn cryptocurrency without investing or mining. Okay. So the, the four ways that they say here, at least in this little thing, and I actually retweeted this um, from crowd holding here and um, it's faucets. Obviously we all know about faucets is a website that rewards people with cryptocurrency in exchange for performing a simple task. So you're actually doing a task, um, uh, whether it's signing up for newsletters or viewing an ad or doing things like that. So faucets are always a good way to make, you know, uh, passive income. You know, I don't, you don't think you make a lot anymore of the faucets, um, but you can still make, you know, passive income if you're able to click, 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 click all day. You know, if you're sitting in a cubicle uh, or something of the sort, as I used to, um, but, but, you know, you can click away and get some ads with faucets. Crowd holding. Uh, Carl Hogan, you are able to earn cryptocurrency through co-creating with startups. Log into your platform, comment, and give feedback to, to startups, and get Carl Holdings Yuppie as a reward. So it's a ERC twenty token, so you can then pay, you know, uh, pay it out or use it, um, uh, you know, on other ERC twenty platforms. Change them out. So that's two ways. Okay, another way is bounty campaigns and airdrops. Okay, bounty campaigns essentially an incentivize offered by companies to individuals. Uh, what this means, a company introducing a product or service offers some sort of reward to people in exchange for performing certain tasks. So, um, you know, I, it basically like a YouTuber basically getting paid for, um, you know, propping up an, a coin or something like that. It's kind of a bounty program, uh, you know, or a certain type of task they want done. And airdrops obviously is when, um, people, you know, ICOs and coins are doing airdrops to promote their coins and get their coins out there to people that normally wouldn't probably buy into it. Um, problem with that is, is that it, it gets in the pump and dumps. You know, you get a lot of airdrops on a certain coin and, you know, we've, when it's an e ICO or something and then when it finally comes out on uh, exchange, it's pump and dump. So our pump and dumps are, are more prone to that anyway. So uh, work, sell items for crypto. So of course, everybody knows you can, you know, uh, jobs for crypto, jobs for Bitcoins. Uh, there's Bitify, which is similar to eBay, and Bizarre Bay, which is similar, you know, acts like Etsy. So, and, and they all take cryptocurrency. So if you want to sell something, you can get on these apps and uh, sell your dApps, I should say, and sell your, uh, you know, items for cryptocurrency if you want. Now, looking into those four, I said, okay, great. You know, I, I knew about all these. We all pretty much know about all those without investing or mining. Okay, so... When I was looking in this Empower coin, I, I did two hours, okay, two hours today. I just sat down and I read through everything and I watched all their stinking videos. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, again, I, I like the videos because they're very, very incentivized. And um, the white paper looks really good. They have a lot of patents. It, it's crazy that they've been around this long and I've never even heard of them. Uh, but now they've actually come out on the actual market because they're fairly new when it comes to actually, you know, um, them being on the cryptocurrency exchanges. They're only on one exchange at this point and they haven't been out for very long. And holy shit, it's already at $6, you know what I mean? And I was like, what, what is going on with this coin? So looking into the Empower, um, it, and we'll get into it a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you that, right? You know, in, in July, it, it just came out in July. And once it hit, boom, hit market, and it's just on a stair step up. Is it bound for a correction? For a correction? Shit, I don't know. You know, because the way that it's, you know, this is Twitter and power. So I'm starting to follow them now, but I just kind of want to show you that um, and, and power. It's crazy. I mean, the way that they have it set up, it's it's that the platform looks like Facebook, you know, so it's user friendly because we're all basically used to, we've been trained in Facebook social media. So now we're actually able to get paid for your social media. So now whatever you post, whatever you video, the way they set it up is a kind of in a trust factor that if people keep coming back to you and they're looking at what you're posting, you know, and then so to speak that they become, you, they become your friend through trust, through so much trust, through throwing so many times that they're clicking it and, you know, maybe that they're you know, almost like Twitter, they're retweeting on Facebook what you're doing or what you're saying. So they're helping you advertise 
yourself and all your ads and all your pictures of you, you know, so I'm going to Alaska and I'm going to use Empower, you know, so, uh, that, I mean, this is a great platform and, you know, and I'm, I'm at, I'll even show you the screen that I'm at right now. I'm at this screen where all I have to do now, and, and you have a coach, okay, and I have one coach right now that's online in English. I get to chat with them for five, about five minutes. They show me how to earn by posting anything how to automatically get others to help you earn more and how to further increase your earnings by like $2,000 a month. Okay, 2,000 bucks a month, it's a great goal. Everybody always tells you, you know, earn to well, 10, $2,000 a week, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of how it feels to me right now, but looking through the patents and everything that they're doing, man, I, 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 no wonder it's gone up 34% and just keeps going up. I keep seeing it in like the top five 24 hour changers in the past seven, eight days and it just came out in the market. Um, so. Uh, am I going to buy any? No, I'm not going to buy any. I'm going to earn it through uh, just doing what I, we usually do all do in Facebook. We're going to post what we want. We're going to, you know, put post our YouTubes on there, you know, because as a YouTuber, you always want to post it to your friends and so on and so forth. So I use Facebook. I use Reddit. I use Steam it. You know, I use all these things in order to get it all posted out there. And now this platform is like Facebook. And then people get incentivized to help you as well. And not only that, you can buy and sell things on here so and, and and barter and trade things and rent things. It's crazy. The way they have this set up is universal and, and, and I'm using it 100% I'm using it and, and, and I'm going to see how it works. I'm going to give everybody kind of a, an update of how this goes. This is something I'm really, um, you know, kind of really into right now and you know? I'm not FOMOing it at all because I'm not buying any of it. Okay, I'm, I'm not buying any of it. I'm getting into it right now while I think it's still cheap because if once everybody learns that, you, you know, you can get on this just like Facebook and blog and post and ad, just like your daily things that you do and people start liking your things and start helping you and start laughing at stuff and, and reposting things that you post. And so you're getting paid for all that. You're getting paid for all that. Not only that, you know, like, let's say you have, and like, remember, I was kind of touching on that whole rent thing. You can rent something that you have. So say you have something in the garage, like an old, um, you know, I have a bunch of power tools in there that I just hardly ever use anymore. I'm almost done remodeling my house. So they're all just kind of sitting in there. You know, I have uh, sawzalls and power tools and all, you know, all these things. I can rent them for, to someone. And if someone wants it, then they pay me for a daily rental instead of having to go buy it themselves. Well, how do I get it to them? Well, somebody comes and picks it up from me and they get paid for um, um, an Empower, uh, through Empower for the difference. I mean, the way the math works, it really is kind of daunting, but you're, you know, once again, that's why I took you know the time today to figure it out. It's crazy, it's awesome, and I, right now, I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it works. I mean, look, photos, updates, videos, blah, it's the same thing as Facebook, but now you get to get paid for it. No more of this. When an ad comes up, you know it's coming from someone else that you have possibly been um, you know, looking at and, and, and interested in the things that they're doing. So they're gonna cross add that just like Facebook does, just like Google does, but now they're gonna help that person and get their products sold, their services sold, their blogs, you know, and friends and, and, and get a trust based on that. I mean, I, I feel I sound excited about it because I really am because I'm at this page right now, but I'm really uh, I haven't uh, shot, the, you know, pulled the trigger yet on it quite yet, but I, I'm going to here in a little bit. So that's one way. OK, that's that's one way out of before, you know, out of besides these four, like the faucets, crowd holding. Bounty campaigns and hour drops, and you work and sell items from crypto, which kind of goes in tandem with M Empower. You can work and sell items uh, uh, with crypto. Okay, so besides those four, Empower. Okay, the other one is Brave. Okay, this is probably going to be the last time I'm going to use Google uh, as a browser. You know what I mean? If I want to go through Google, I'm going to use Brave and then go into Google through Brave because I'm tired of the ads, I'm tired of the slowness. Um, Brave actually has back. Okay, so you have you know your basic attention token. Okay, I've I've had like I think thirty five dollars in bat sitting in there that they've given me that I'm supposed to be browsing other you know sites with and and they automatically get tipped. You know what I mean? Okay, because I I see I see these sites. It's the same thing as in power, but it's in in a broader sense on the internet. So it's it's its own uh, internet of things. And in power is one of those things. It's a Facebook. So I'm going to use Brave. Okay, and then try to use that as far as far as a monetizing thing for cryptocurrency and then help monetize other people's channels and then in, and then use brave and then use empower inside brave okay as my facebook channel to uh monetize that and help other people monetize their own channels 
that is a freaking a world community. And when it comes down to it with Empower, what they're really trying to do is make $25. I don't want to go back out of this screen right now, and I don't want to open up another one because I don't know what it'll do. But it, really, what, what it comes down to it, they're trying to make poverty. Whoever has power or a digital power, they now can utilize it to the 100% degree, and they want to make $25 a day for everybody who's on the Empower um, a platform. That's their goal in the long run because once they start scaling nobody can make two thousand dollars in a month anymore it'll be twenty five dollars a day and then if you're really good at what you're doing and servicing uh whether it be a youtube uh, and anything else that everybody likes looking at you're going to be making more money uh through that coin you know what i mean so it, it's great I, and I, i'm i'm freaking excited so now i found ways that when i go in, you know out to alaska and I'm not mining, you know, I'm not, I can't manage my mining, but it's going to be obviously running and someone, you know, watching it. And then I can't manage my profit trailer because it's on a base computer and I can't watch it uh, when I'm out. Um, and, and obviously, uh, you know, trading on a Mac, on a, um, a core trade or a swing trade level, you know, it's tough to do. It's difficult to do on laptops when you're, you know, out and about, especially in the boondocks in Alaska. So that's, um, you know, different alternatives for everyone to kind of think about, all right? Brave and power, and then those four, you know, other things work uh, and sell crypto, which you can do on Empower, bounty campaigns and airdrops, uh, crowd holding, and faucets. Okay, so those are like six great ways of making cryptocurrency without even having to mine or trade cryptocurrency. So that was kind of, you know, a focus in. So let's kind of macro out here a little bit. So we went down to 250 billion. Volume declined substantially. Okay, and I didn't really want to touch on really on this. What I wanted to touch on is this. Too unstable. Okay, everybody's been talking about how um, the New York Stock Exchange is saying, oh man, we, you know, we want to build an exchange for uh, cryptocurrency and, and so on and so forth. Well, let me tell you something. They're not going to do anything until the SEC gets their shit together and, and starts leveling out the playing field, getting rid of all this wash trading and all this stuff. And that's really what this all says. Um, so let's read it real quick. It, it is evident based on the sudden movements in the price of Bitcoin, which do not reflect the positive developments in the cryptocurrency sector, that most of the major drops in the past month were caused by movements in the over-the-counter market. Okay. In its latest report, as CNN reported, UBS, the Swiss multinational investment bank, emphasized that Bitcoin is too unstable in its current form to experience mainstream adoption. And I, I think they're, they're right with that. So what, why? Okay, well, Our findings suggest that Bitcoin in its current form is too unstable and limited to become a viable means of payment for global transactions or mainstream asset class. Okay, if Bitcoin and other major crypto, cryptocurrencies continue to show signs of manipulation and abnormal behaviors, the U.S. Securities SEC could potentially reject BTC ETFs and public instruments based on digital currencies due to their high volatility and manipulated markets. Simple as that. Okay, so some very regulated financial institutions, including NYSE and NASDAQ, have reaffirmed support towards BTC. They want BTC. And the growing market of cryptocurrencies, which could stabilize the stock market in the midterm, because we're having this big, huge stock, you know, talk in the stock market, how we are coming up to a bubble again, and we're going to burst and it's going to be a dollar bubble. It's going to be a currency bubble, not like some housing bubble like we had in 2008. So if we, they are really looking into getting cryptocurrency uh, on the exchanges, because again, it will stabilize the market in the midterm. Okay. So it's great to see, but again, if we have to step, the SEC has to step in and get rid of all this shitty, um, you know, manipulation and, and volatility that we're having with Tether and True and all these other ones. CNYT is the new China one that they're coming out. That's uh, you know based on the yen. Um, so we have to get rid of them because wash trading is a bad, bad element. You never see it on the stock market. When you do, these people get. I mean, burnt, raked over the coals through the SEC, all their money taken away, um, unless they're too big to fail, which, you know, does happen as well. But that's the beauty of decentralization. Can't be too big to fail. So, um, you know, that's kind of touching on the overview of it and, you know, what I want really want to touch on on just this portion of this CCN 
um, uh, journalism right here. So uh, I, I agree with that. You know, I really do um, that we need to get more regulation in here and stop all this um, manipulation and, you know, if it, because it causes more FUD and, and big money doesn't want to come in when they see that it's obvious. It's obvious wash trading in their eyes. They don't want it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to get into it. So I might as well do over the counter training and, you know, it screws the market up. So uh, I'm going to get into this real quick. Jamie Demon, he says blockchain for a whole lot of things. He wants to use blockchain. Now, the one thing I wanted to touch on this is he didn't really want to say any more about cryptocurrency. It, but he does say, though, it's not the same as gold or fiat, which is not. Okay. Gold is God's money and fiat is uh, uh, government money. Okay. Gold is gold. It's backed by gold. It's a tangible asset. Fiat, it's not uh, a, tan a tangible asset anymore. It's based on the stock market of supply and demand, which we were gold back, but not anymore. The dollar is a fiat currency, uh, which is supported by blah, 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 blah. Uh, and, and are not replicable. So they, he thinks crypto is replicable. And there are strict, strict sh structures on them. So Demon also made a point of calling blockchain technology real. So what basically what he's saying here is he, he doesn't like crypto. He thinks crypto is not real, but the blockchain technology is real. The underlining technology is real. So he knows that he can, or he's, he's trying to leverage the blockchain technology before he has to completely commit to the cryptocurrency world because that's decentralized. The blockchain technology, he can use that in his favor for his company um, and still leverage it into his favor and become capitalist, you know, and it's still centralized with the blockchain technology. Because um, if you use it inside his own infrastructure, it's going to help him. Uh, it's going to help it helps every company if you use it in your infrastructure. Um, so uh, it's just a decentralization and letting everybody look at it. That's kind of... Uh, uh, you know, the issue uh, I think uh, big businesses have. They don't want to be transparent that big. So, you know, that's everything I really wanted to go over uh, today. You know, just really keep in mind there are four, five, six ways of making cryptocurrency without investing or mining. And Empower is the new one that I've seen. And it all caught my eye just based on it's a 24 hour uh, changer. You know, it's been on the top 24 hour changer list for the past, you know, seven, you know, to me anyway, six, seven, eight days. Uh, but it says in the past seven days, but it was flatlining, but whatever. But it, all I know is that I've seen it on um, the top 20 in the past two weeks. So um, it's great. Empower and then Brave. Brave is going to be the browser I'm going to use to use Empower in order to, uh, you know, look at everything from now on. So today's going to be my last day using Google. Look at this. I'm, I'm tired of all this loading and all this stuff, you know, and actually it's working pretty good for me today. Um, so it must be uh, knowing that I'm bitching about it. So last but not least, crypto fear and greed index, extreme fear 23. It's gone down, you know, and uh, um, we're actually going sideways right now. So um, the, I would say the social media is catching up to the volatility of it at this point. And of course, surveying and so on and so forth. So um, you know, I've gone over analysts about Bitcoin and so on yesterday and a couple days, a couple of videos before. So uh, nothing's changed as far as the analysts go. And uh, we shall see what uh, the future brings uh, tomorrow. So my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you guys, but it has great value to me and the dogs I'm going to be rescuing. You guys have a great day. Keep up the grind.